Good afternoon. George Cook here to talk about silver salmon flies. Silver salmon flies for the upcoming season on the Connect Talk in Western Alaska. Here is a pretty typical silver salmon box. And if you look at this, you'll see that one side is largely bright patterns and one side is largely dark patterns. Now as far as sinking flies, flies that one might fish off a floating line or a sink tip, you show up on the river, guy just got you in, a, uh, in one of these well-rested, notorious silver salmon holes that fish have had overnight to calm down if they were worked on the day before, but more importantly, more and more fish have piled in fresh from the salt. First thing out of the boat, in terms of a wet fly, would be something pink. Why? Because it's a sure thing. And a sure thing might be a good old loop leech, which is a fly that, a series of flies that Tom Larimer has developed. This is a pink loop leech. But a guy could always uh, opt for something in the old history, like a popsicle. You know, a lot of these Alaska boos, like the candy cane, the popsicle, these are all really good choices as well, generally unweighted. But a lot of the really effective flies, like the starlight leech, like the various hairball leeches. This happens to be an articulated one, but say a standard one. Let's find one here. Here we go. These type of flies are very, very effective because they hit the water, they sink quickly, they show tremendous action when you're stripping them. All the ingredients to entice a silver to strike. And oftentimes those morning sessions on the Connect Talk are just an absolute fish fest. I mean, you, you make 10 casts, you hook 8, you land 7, your next 10 casts hook 7, you land 6. If you're unlucky, you land 4. If you're lucky, you get them all. Now, oftentimes that pot of fish that's in front of you that is so, was so hot and heavy fishing when you first got there slows down. Usually the trick there is to start changing colors and usually my number two choice is to go with something in a purple shade. This is kind of that old uh, Aleutian Queen sequence of colors, that being pink with purple. That could be in a Starlight Leech, it could be all purple. It could be uh, in a Loop Leech. Here, here, here's one of those. Here's a Loop Leech right here in an all purple. This is a nice profile fly that's really easy to cast. Okay. And then you'll catch X amount of them on purple, and then it'll slow down on purple. Then it becomes time to go to something else, and usually my finishing fly is something in black. Black seems to be the color that silvers get onto really good when you've kind of worn them out on the other ones. Here's a black. Here's a, a black egg sucking loop leech, another Tom Larimer fly. And that's really, you could start with this fly. In fact, if two of you walked into a particular pot of silvers in a nice run, one guy could start with pink, one guy could start with black, and, you know, somebody get a calculator to start keeping up with the numbers. All these flies will typically get fished with a strip pause where that fly skirts, sinks, skirts, sinks. Oftentimes the fish hit it on the drop. Uh, silvers like a fly that A has flash, B has movement, okay? And those two factors go into our selection of silver flies in any given day, okay? Thanks for coming out, checking out silver flies. Fly du jour.